How can you tell if a two-part silicone veiner or mould is actually botanically correct? Are you wanting to see outstanding and realistic results but your silicone moulds, they just seem to be letting you down? Let me reveal the true meaning behind the term botanically correct. Hi, my name is Robert Haynes. I'm extremely passionate about recreating Mother Nature herself into an edible art form using my preferred medium known as flower paste or gum paste. Artists use a wide range of mediums such as air dry clay, cold porcelain, modeling chocolate, wafer paper, real chocolate, marzipan, pulled sugar, or even hot liquid isomalt because our moulds can withstand temperatures of 200 degrees centigrade or down to minus 50 degrees centigrade. Two-part cavity moulds like lemons, closed buds or blackberries benefit from a short stay in the freezer to make the whole demoulding process a lot easier. My brand is known as the Sugar Flower Studio. I am based in London, UK. My silicone mould manufacturers are based in Michigan in the US. They also have their own brand of botanically correct food grade silicone moulds called Simply Nature. Absolutely exquisite moulds. Which can be found at www.sugardelights.com. I will include a link in the comments below. Both ranges are made using exactly the same procedures, which ensure a microscopic air bubble free surface. Our moulds are made from only the highest food grade platinum based silicone, which is fully compliant to FDA and EU regulations. When we decide on a new species of plant to replicate as a two-part mould, it needs to pass a rigorous grading process first. We carefully choose each petal, leaf, flower centre, fruit, butterfly wing, the list goes on and on. Qualities we look for in each specimen are firstly blemish-free, a contoured pillowed shape, and especially how defined the veins are. This is a silicone mould made from the Rigosa plant here. So all these are actually real, but this one is a, is a sugar leaf that I made from the veina. So as you can see on here, the defined veins are absolutely beautiful. Botanically correct means a perfect cast of both the front and the back of real botanical plant parts. If you have ever experienced your paste being cut by the top veiner, then let me explain. If you place your two part mould together, there should be an opening space or gap left where the stem part of the leaf or petal would have been. Some companies who make silicone moulds choose a much quicker shortcut way of producing non-botanically correct moulds. They do this by casting only the back part of the leaves or petals where the more prominent veins are, then duplicate this into a two-part mould. Yes, non-botanically correct moulds look very impressive and defined. However, your rose petals or leaves look quite false and over-veined as the front and backs will be displaying exactly the same detailing. This is something to really take into consideration when entering a competition. This is one of the first things I look for when judging or offering professional constructive criticism, if asked. A question to ask yourself, is the veining structure true to life and botanically correct? Another sign to look out for when placing your chosen medium inside the veiner to give the leaf or petal beautiful veins is that the veiner annoyingly cuts the medium due to the sharp central vein which is quite wrongly pushing down into the top part of the prepared leaf or petal. Some leaves and petals are quite fleshy. For example, 
a succulent plant or a cymbidium orchid petal. When you put a two-sided mould together, there should be the exacting cavity left for your chosen medium to fill this space. As we cast both sides of the plant, the veining structure is quite different comparing the front to the back veins. Many leaves actually have raised veins on both sides, for example the ivy or begonia or eucalyptus. If your silicone mould is not botanically correct, your results will be very different from the real plant. Another important tip to look out for when buying a silicone mould, make sure it states that the product is made from a registered food grade silicone. Some moulds on the market are made from a tin based silicone, which is a non food grade. They have a tendency to start splitting open, becoming dry and crumbling. Another point to be aware of is always buy an original veiner or mould. Copying, unfortunately, is widespread in the world we live in today. If you buy a copied veiner, I can almost guarantee it wouldn't be made with a reputable food grade silicone. The veining details will be very poorly copied and you are basically helping to promote stealing. When I teach a sugar flower masterclass, I would use silicone veiners from either the sugar flower studio or the simply nature range as we have chosen to make different flowers and foliage species across both of the ranges. Many of my students take part in international cake competitions. They absolutely adore our products because we take the extra time and put our heart and soul into creating, in our opinion, the best food grade platinum based botanically correct silicone moulds available on the market. If I was to advise anyone who was wanting to make hyper realistic flowers, there would only be one choice and that would be to invest in a high quality botanically correct mould. The results are perfect. You really can't argue with mother nature. If you are interested in new upcoming YouTube videos, then kindly click the subscribe button. If you would like to register your interest or be the first to be notified of new online masterclasses being launched through my online sugarflowerstudioacademy.com, then kindly click the link below in the comments.